Good morning, good morning, good morning somewhere in probably like China. Good evening, everybody. I am going to wait just a bit. Uh, should be getting some people following in soon, and Miss Venus should be joining us very soon as well. I had just done a, uh, a, a live video chat so we can get everything set up, so she should be in here as soon as she sees me. How's everybody doing this evening? What up, Cole? What up, Savannah? And Mataz? Too much TV? What's up? What up? Tell you she should be in here just a bit. What is up, everybody? She should be joining us here very, sh very soon. Hi, Savannah. Man, you guys are just rolling in. We can't hear. How come you can't hear me? You should be able to hear me. What? I don't know why you guys can't hear. Easy, girl. There is Miss Venus. Now, how can I get her to join me? All right, well, I can wave at her. Venus, do you have a way? Let's see. Sent a request. Yes. And yes. So Miss Venus should be joining us here in just a moment. Like my shirt. Thank you. It's my Christmas shirt in the middle of June. But that's okay. Good evening. Ah, hi. How are you Thank doing? You. I am doing well. See. I know. It's, like, I'm, it's incredible. It's we, should wait for, we shouldn't wait so long next time. I know. I know. For anybody who doesn't get the joke, we just did uh, a live chat just a few minutes ago just to make sure we got all this set up. And, and before you came in, people were already commenting, Telly! All in oh, caps. That's so, cool. so thank you so much for joining us and, and for doing this with us. I appreciate you. Thanks for having me. Well, it is my pleasure. Well, to save your time, because I know you've got all kinds of things going on, I so hope we could just go ahead and go right into it. Okay. Uh, so I've got a set of questions, and some of the followers have also given some questions, which I'm sure you've seen that they were doing. Uh, so I do want to talk about, obviously, Salute Your Shorts and some after Salute Your Shorts, because you've done a whole lot more than just that. Uh, so from what <laughs> you remember, yeah, people are just rolling into comments. Yeah. Uh, how did you hear about Salute Your Shorts, Dan? Did, do you remember any of the audition process? What do you remember? Yeah. Yeah. Um... I remember, yeah, uh, my mom had like, like, cause, okay, this was before my mom started her talent agency. Okay. And she like knew about it. And I don't know if I was submitted or not, but she made sure that I had an audition for it. And, uh, oh, thank you. And I, um, <laughs> I went ahead and uh, I got, I, I ended up auditioning for all the female characters. Uh, okay. So bunch of times it was a lot of auditions for me like four auditions or something like that and then um gosh I still remember when I booked it like running around the house and like being so excited about it and everything yeah that was such a good experience now was was the character of Telly the one you were hoping to get or was there a different one you were hoping to get um, or do you really remember I mean t yeah Telly mean I was like throwing in like karate moves and like I was doing a lot for <laughs> Telly like Telly was like all the way up here. They had to bring nice. Telly down a little bit. Yeah, I mean to be the uh, to be the jock and play all the sports. I mean that's the coolest. I mean you know it would have been nice to be an environmentalist chick or a rich girl or you know, mm -hmm. but like yeah, the tomboy that was so much fun. You you own that part. Yeah. Uh, one of the uh, guys who commented that he didn't have a question. Uh, We'll make sure I read his name correctly. Private Island, uh, they do Are You Afraid of the Dark podcast, but they wanted to make sure to tell you that you were their favorite camper. Oh, thank, so, you. Uh, thank you. That's so cool. Uh, what, was, what was it like, Phil? Because I know you've done shows after that were in a studio. What was it like to be in a campground? Well, believe it or not, we had a studio. We did. So okay. We had our own, like, you know, soundstage. So it was just us. Okay. We're at Nickelodeon Studios. We had our own place, and it was way out in the in the valley, and 
it was it was really cool. I mean, it was just, you know, all the to have all the bunks and everything. So we did do interior, you know, shooting. And then we also did uh, our exteriors at the campground. Um, okay. So those were always fun days. It was like a field trip day, you know, and and back then I was like learning how to type on a typewriter with a thing. Oh, man. Yeah, boy, <laughs> well before computers and keyboards. Yeah. So like I was like, you know, they would have to pack up my typewriter so that we could take it to to the campground or wherever we were shooting because we were be on location and at a lot of different places. So it was a oh gosh, it was so much fun. Yeah. And it, it it seemed like the cast got along really well. And there's even a couple of uh, blooper reels that you can find on YouTube. And even then, it seemed like the cast got along. It is did that really? Is that true? Did you, did that translate well? That you guys get along as well as it uh, came off the screen? Yeah, I think I think I was a lot annoyed by a lot of my castmates and sometimes i look at that footage i was like they were such jerks like why were people so, you know so i don't know if you think that we were having that we were nice and stuff then that's great no but like yeah i mean we had so much fun i mean pie fights and like that pie there's that one pie fight in the first season it's like we did that like one in the morning and the next day i had to take my entrance exams for high school so it was just like i had ice whipped cream in my hair you know and it, gosh yeah, it's like I got to stay up really late, and then I'm trying to like you know try to get into like see what level I'm going to be in, in in high school. So it was I don't know. It was it was a lot of fun though. But yeah, we had fun. We had so much fun. And and I, and I know Nick, I know uh, Nickelodeon stuff. He was actually wanting to know what the pie fight was like. So you pretty much just answered that. Yeah, and yeah the pie fight was awesome. And every and time someone asked me we did food fighting. I mean, that was just like a fun day. Like it's like. You could you got to go to the set and just have things prepared for you to throw at people, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and then like we, we're sit, we're spending so much time there, so it's just like, okay, how can I make this ball of food grosser? What you know for the next take? <laughs> so it's like ah, it was so much fun. It was so much fun. And somebody had just asked. I, I, I apologize to the person who put the things. I didn't see the name, but they just asked if you still had your mad sports skills. Yeah, I mean, okay, like, I play dodgeball. I don't know if you guys are, like, following my Instagram page, but, like, you should. Like, come on, y'all. Like, like my Instagram page, please, because I don't have that many followers. Anyways, um, but, yeah, yeah, I love sports. Uh, I play dodgeball, and um, but I'm, like, a dancer, too, so I love dancing, and I love yoga. Um, mm -hmm. But, like, I don't watch sports, but I like to play them. <laughs> so, I, like, I am in the same boat. <laughs> fours are but <laughs> but if you want to play like some basketball or some soccer or like you know i'm down come on let's go and someone asked uh what was was there anybody in the cast that you got along with more so than the rest yeah we all got along very well together um <laughs> i'll just leave it at that <laughs> well, well, well we'll end that there no i'm just kidding uh, i mean yeah, no, we all, I, but we were also younger. I think we get along yeah. better now. I mean, I think we had like, you know, I think, yeah, I mean, we were, in hindsight, we, we were probably fighting a lot, um, but in a, in a childlike way, not yeah. like mean kind of like, bull, I mean, I don't know, back then it's like, it's just how you kind of took it. But we, for the most part, we all got along. We all had a good time. The girls yeah. got Long. The guys did their thing, you know, when we all came together, it was really cool. So, yeah, for the most part, we had a great time. Good. Yeah. And I also, someone had also asked about the episode where you and some of the cast members got to go be a part of Wild and Crazy Kids. Yeah, that was so much fun. We, we what do you remember about that? Yeah, we took over a mall, and I still have the roller skates from that episode. <laughs> I still oh, that's cool. Roller skate in them. Um, and so, yeah, see, I like to roller skate too. Uh, but yeah, that episode was so much fun. Um, and I got to meet, was Phil Moore on that? I uh, don't know if he was on that episode or not. No, but well, he's still good friends with me. Uh, and he did the, the, the video game show. But yes, anyway, because... yeah, yeah. Uh, but Wild and Crazy Kids was so much fun. Um, yeah. And I remember like the mall was being built. And I think it's 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 one of the big malls that we have right now in LA, but at the time really? it was brand new. And so we like it's just the kids in there roller skating, like in a mall. Like it it was it was yeah, that was 
gosh, shows used to be so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, game shows could just run around and be wild and crazy. I mean, just get out and have fun, and there's no big prize. Just get together and have fun. Yeah, totally. I miss I miss seeing stuff like that. I I never was able to be in the show, obviously, but it <laughs> looks so fun just to have oh, a good time. Because yeah. much much like you were saying, I like I like to play sports. I don't like to watch them. Yeah. And at the same time, I almost didn't like to play sports because everybody was so that I went to school with. They were so competitive that if you lost, they'd either you'd feel bad or they'd rub your nose in it. Whereas oh, while the crazy gosh. kids was just let's just have fun, just to have fun. Time. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. And I know Salute Your Shorts never was filmed at Nickelodeon Studios because it was on location, and then the studio that or the the sound stage that you were talking about. Since it didn't film there, did you ever get to go to Nick Studios? I didn't get to go. I oh, didn't no. Go. Uh, half of my cast did. Uh, Trevor and I didn't get to make it. So I wish I had the opportunity. Oh, you know, man. It's so funny. Like, you do, like, commercials or something, and you're like, oh, I just did this commercial. Like, I should get this for free. Like, it doesn't work like that. No. And I was, Oh, it, you know, like to pay for a trip to to Nickelodeon when I'm doing Nickelodeon all the time. <laughs> that was a little. That would have been a little much. So yeah, I didn't. I never got to go to the to. But the new movie, The Orange Years, is amazing. Yes, it is. I actually have got a copy oh, right here because I had to get it on Blu-ray. Yeah. Uh, for anybody who hasn't seen it yet, it is on Hulu and. Our lovely guest today is also well, on there as well, giving her reminiscences, her <laughs> memories of it. And it's fantastic. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. It, obviously, it's on DVD and Blu-ray. You can check it out on Hulu. Um, have you, didn't you also do some interviews for the book Slimed? I yeah. You, yeah, I, I, I had read that as well. So if anybody wants to check that out, check it out. I got my copy on uh, Amazon. Uh -huh. uh, did you ever go back to the campgrounds after all these time? Uh, yeah, I love those campgrounds. Uh, yeah. Anytime they go, uh, well, okay, there's the Griffith Park Girls Camp. I, I actually, well, we shot at both the Girls Camp and the Boys Camp. I actually went to the Girls Camp that we shot at. Like, I actually went to yes. the Yes, yeah. I remember reading that, yeah. I, it was called Camp Hollywood Land, and, or it still is. I mean, it's a great camp, and um i we also shot at a place called uh the suki suki goldman nature center and it's just a beautiful place and they've got uh good bathrooms so you can you know you can walk around. <laughs> there's like a lake and and all, i mean it's the lake that we jumped in it's like every time i go i go i jumped in that dirty disgusting lake with a <laughs> and, you know <laughs> Um, so yeah, I mean, that park is just beautiful and it's just, uh, yeah, I love going to the trails and all that stuff. So anytime That's I get awesome. to go hiking, I like to go over there. So it's a lot of awesome. fun. Memories. Well, well also, uh, outside of Salute Your Shorts, you were also on, uh, Sister Sister and Family I Matters. <laughs> My girlfriend just joined. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How how different was it, Hi Cat Tail? I, yeah, hey Kitty. How different was it to do those shows and Salute Your Shorts? Um, which shows, like Family Matters and yeah, Family Matters, Sister Sister, Smart Guy, and well, how different were they? Because obviously they were more in a studio. Right. And live studio audience, so the format is completely different. Uh, at Salute Your Shorts, we were shooting every day. Uh, when you do a show with a live audience, you prep for like three or four days and you get your marks. And it's crazy because like when you perform the scene, I mean, you've rehearsed it so many times. When you shoot like like for Salute, it's like you rehearse it a couple times and then you shoot the scene and then you move on to the next scene. Well, with this one, I've rehearsed it for three to four days before the live studio audience comes in. And on the ground are all your marks for every single scene of the entire show. So you have to remember <laughs> where you're supposed to be standing. And so are everyone else's marks. So it's like that when you when you can like work through all of that and like remember the choreography of that, like I feel like you could do any kind of like show. I mean, 
So it's very different, but they're all very fun to do. I, I don't care. As long as there's like a camera and a crew, I'm very happy. <laughs> <laughs> what, what got you uh, interested with acting? Well, my mom, obviously you love doing it. mom and dad, they got me into very, very, very early age. So, I mean, I had my first speaking role in the 80s and I didn't have any two front teeth, I remember. And I'm sitting on Santa's lap uh, on the show called Alice's Diner. But, uh, you know, should they, they got me into it very young and it's like, I just loved it. I mean, I, I just found a, someone had posted a Beach Blast Barbie commercial that I did uh, way back yeah. then. And it's like those experiences, it's like I can remember how cold I was and why I'm like jumping in place because it was freezing and how my hair became an afro and no one knew what to do because we were at the beach. And it's like, so there's all these, you know, all of these different like memories that I have that are wrapped up in these little moments that I had in my career, which is, which is so cool that I can actually like go back to a commercial or a TV show and, and remember what, what my life was like during that time. Yeah. Uh Totally understand that. Yeah. And, uh, and we also, while well, I was going through and I found an old uh, Eggo Waffle commercial also. Yes. How, what is, and is there a difference between filming commercials and filming TV shows? Well, the cool thing about that commercial is we shot that in Utah, which was weird. So I get to go out of school. My mom and I get to fly to another state. And I think it was because of that's where the uh, visual effects house was for that. And they okay. used stop motion photography for that. So when I'm holding this 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 uh, thing, my mouthpiece, and it's moving, mm -hmm. like they replaced it for every single picture. So it's like I've got 30 photos of me just, you know, I, it, it, I mean, to j just that is what made me want to get a degree in film production um, because I love filmmaking so much it really got me into like oh my god this is you know I want to be a director I want to see like how do they edit how does this all work you know like so I mean that was what fascinated me the most like about that commercial um and I did like a Chevy Beretta commercial with Tia Carrera and we shot that in New Orleans so this was like way back in the day right it was way before Katrina like it was very different there so being able to travel as a young person and then go to school on set and I mean, it was just awesome, you know? So so booking a commercial, especially out of state or, you know, out of this country, like I did a movie of the week uh, that shot in Canada. And um, I think the legal drinking age there is 19. So when I got on the flight, they gave me a, a glass of champagne and I was like, what? Oh no. <laughs> like, my mom and dad aren't here. I was like, do you guys know? Like, <laughs> Like, uh, like, no one's gonna say anything. Like, you know, I can, I can do this. This is okay. So, I mean, I, look, I had opportunities like that that are just like so cool. So, oh, that's awesome, Vanessa. Uh, so going a little further in your career, which we're cramming in just a half hour, uh, you also did several ep episodes of Bold and the Beautiful. Yes, yes, and that that's a, a lot of fun. That's a very different show compared to Salute Your Shorts. Right. Much that, more yeah. much more serious. Yeah. But what was it like doing that one? So where you shoot an episode of Salute Your Shorts in say five days, um, and you can shoot a, a a sitcom in four days, four or five days, you shoot an episode of a soap opera in one day. <laughs> so you get the script and this is before uh the internet <laughs> so you get someone delivers you the script and like you have to learn it and then by the time you get there they've changed it so you've got to learn the new script and you usually get only one take so <laughs> you get a little rehearsal time and then you know if you don't do their take good then you're not going to be in that episode <laughs> they're just you know there's so much footage there's so much stuff that they shoot so that was a real learning experience uh you know and you're shooting like two episodes in a day and it's like to remember the order and like all the things that are happening and like oh wait i haven't done that yet so let me make sure i do this you know um i mean you know uh, that that kind of stuff it happens with every episode but when you're packing it all into one day it's 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 like it's crazy you got to be ready you know and it's so much that's so much fun 
awesome. Yeah. Well, I do have a couple of other questions from some of the followers that they had submitted. Okay. Do you have a favorite camper from Salute Your Shorts? Do I have a, a, a favorite camper? Like uh, one of the characters that you'd list, not necessarily work with, but one you just like to watch? Um, who's my favorite camper besides, I mean, Telly, but like, see, like, I was going to say Telly. Telly's the dopest. Like, come on, she's the coolest. Um, who's cool? Um, the Ellie. girls are cool. I mean, Zizi and, and, and uh, Dina, they're awesome. I mean, but then, like, you got Budnick. I mean, Budnick's obviously the coolest, like, character. But then you got Pinsky. And Sponge is cool. And then, of course, Donkey Lips. The most, he's, I mean, <laughs> he's a lot of fun. I can't, I can't, it's hard to rate. It's kind of like, <laughs> Which which kid is your favorite? You know, like it's like family. You just love them all. You gotta love them. With, like, like you can't have salute your shorts without everybody. No, you can't. It's such an ensemble piece. Yeah, and everybody's such a strong. Like you know, they they give so much to to the show. So I can't. I can't. I can't. I love everybody. I love everybody. You have a favorite episode? Oh man! I mean, Zeke the plumber. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we had a reunion in Portland, and uh, they played that on the big screen. And I hadn't seen it in so long, and I was just like, "This is deep! Like, this is really good! Like, I can't believe like we were doing this and like shooting it at night. That was so much fun, and and to be able to to be like to to be a, like you know all hardcore basketball, and then like be like prissy kind of and like the dress, and to have that sort of character." transformation that was so much fun that was cool and then, i think that was i think that was the second episode to premiere on nickelodeon so they yeah, go from the lighthearted fun i like that futuristic one that we did too that was really fun yeah sure and we got to like i got to wear that wig and like dress up and like we had futuristic props and stuff so i mean but like every episode was so much fun to do there, there wasn't. There's not a weak episode of that whole of both seasons. There, there are a lot of fun. Yeah, uh, What Nick TV show did you watch as a as a kid? I was uh, as a kid. I don't even know what was I watching when I was a kid. <laughs> that was so many years ago. I can't tell you, baby. They had these when I was a child. Um, I, <laughs> I watched, I mean, I like Jeopardy. I like Star Trek. So like watching Jeopardy with my dad, that was like a lot of fun to me. Like actually being able to answer questions and stuff like that. Like I was a nerd. And that was, I'm a nerd. So yeah, th those kind Same. of, uh, when I was little, you know, what? Hey dude. And, and stuff, you know, things that were, you can't do that on television. You know, that I got a kick out of the slime. Everybody loves the slime, you know? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that kind of stuff. <laughs> and let me check the time here. I think we got time for just a couple more. Okay. Uh, do you have any favorite memories from doing Salute Your Shorts? Favorite memories from doing Salute Your Shorts. Um... Let's see. The monkey. There was a monkey that came on set when we did the episode with the frogs. So, oh, yeah. Uh, they brought the frogs, these giant toads that we were racing. But the people who held the animals had bubbles for some reason. Michael Jackson's monkey. <laughs> so they can't leave him at home by himself. So they brought him to the set. So we had a monkey, a chimp, on the set all day. So you can hold him and, you know, I mean, that's like being at the zoo, but like 10 times better. Like you, you just have a monkey at work. So that was, I mean, that was definitely, I mean, it wasn't on the show. Obviously they, they didn't have, we didn't have an episode with the monkey in it, but yeah. there was one behind the scenes and that was awesome. That was really I think cool. I read that somewhere. Cause I, I don't, I was gonna say, I don't remember it on the show, but I do remember yeah. reading that somewhere. I'd forgotten all about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we had a, we had a, our share of like fun times behind the scenes that didn't always get captured. Yeah, for sure. And if I remember correctly, the, I saw somewhere that you were on an episode of In Living Color. Oh, <laughs> that was my mother, believe it or not. So, really? 
there's a story behind that. Um, my name is Venus DeMilo Thomas, and my mom's okay. name is Thomas. And before I, well, no, she was acting while I was acting. And uh, she, she, before she became an agent, she acted for a few years and she was like, ah, I'm getting all these comedic roles. Like I want to be dramatic. And so she did an episode, I think uh, her episode is with Jamie Foxx and um, gosh, uh, but it's, 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 uh, it's, it's about like having a computer and how come every time black people are in, com in a commercial, they always have to be rapping even if it's about like a computer or something. And so she like, it's, so it's like really out of character for her, but she's like rapping with like, with like <laughs> cast members. And it was a really, really fun scene. So that was actually her. And then uh, she did like an episode of Parker Lewis Can't Lose, but they haven't like, because our names are the same, I was like, I'll take them. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you know, cause... you know, cause it's like, she did it so many years ago and she's not. Yeah. Or, um, but yeah. It's so something I I've credits <laughs> something that i thought was funny just along with all this was also on i think it was season two jim carrey started a bodybuilder segment vera de milo exactly right. and it cracked me up as a kid i didn't get it and then as an adult i was looking yeah. into all this nickelodeon I really teased about in high school because it was like finally my name is cool and now here you is like vera de milo coming out like <laughs> you know so yeah i yeah I, I can't. Gosh, <laughs> yeah, I, I've got a buddy whose name is Chris Reeves, and I said, "Is your full name Christopher Reeves?" He said, "Yes." I am not gonna. I'm not gonna make a joke. And right. he right. Gonna take a it's hard when you have when you have names like that. So oh, yeah. it's, it, it's it's it can be tough. Let me double check here. Uh, funniest behind the scenes moment. You just answered that. Ah, last one. Okay. When did you? When did you realize that Salute You Shorts was a hit? Um, I don't know. I mean, what's crazy is back before uh, when we all used to go out to eat and drink and stuff, I would have a birthday and uh, one of my best friends, Matt, said, I don't know if she's on. I told her to get on here. But she would get everyone to sing the theme song to Salute Your Shorts. So it hasn't really gone away. I feel like it's still in the back of people's minds and they might not even know I'm on the show, but they'll be like singing the song. And it's just like, because they like, you know, like it just, it's ingrained in people's brains, you know? So I don't think I really like, it wasn't a time. Cause like when it was on, people didn't really know about it. And then not everyone knows, hi, Elisa! And not everybody knows about, hi, Matt does. And not everybody knows about uh, Nickelodeon and Salute Your Shorts necessarily, but people who do really love it. So mm -hmm. it doesn't go away. So if you love the show, then like you always love the show. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I'm glad it's, I'm glad, I'm glad it's back out there, you know, on Paramount Plus and people get to check it out and stuff. Yes. So. I, I don't think the whole seasons are out there yet, but there's only a few no. episodes, but, yeah. but we'll take the episodes we get. Yes, right. We'll take what we can. <laughs> take what we can. Don't don't, right. don't look at your horse in the mouth. Right, right. That we said that on an episode, and I was like, I don't understand what that means. <laughs> What's a gift horse? Who's giving a gift as a horse? Why? <laughs> like they, I that was one line that I had to say, and I think I say it. I'm like, it's like, <laughs> but now I I know what it means now, so that's good. All right. Well, I think we'll. Hang it up. Thank because it's been yeah, it's been about a half hour. Thank you so very Thank much for you. doing it. Fine. Well, everybody, make sure to go follow Venus on her Instagram. Any other places that they can follow you at, or is Instagram the one you do the most? Yeah, I do Instagram, or you can follow my Facebook fan page. It's just my name, Venus DeMilo Thomas, with the asterisks on the end, and I will always post all the stuff that I'm up to, so that you can check out what I'm doing. All right. Give her a follow and thank you again. And you have a lovely evening. Thank you guys. And thank you. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.